Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Steve from Network Advisor. I was going to show you the way that I manage my remote lab, or I should say manage my lab remotely. So if you watch my stuff, you know that I've got two different locations, a home office and also a commercial office. And so sometimes I access stuff in the commercial office. So for instance, this machine right here, the T3500, which is a Dell machine in my, uh, in my office uh, away from my home. And I use VNC. So if you're not familiar with VNC, that's something you probably should make yourself familiar with or at least something uh, similar to it. So I launched this and it gives remote desktop access to that machine. All right, so let me get that window where you can see it. Okay, so there's this machine in my commercial office. And then once I'm here, what I want to do is I'm getting ready to turn on some uh, voice over IP phones because I'm making a video about uh, remotely managing uh, voice over IP phones by port bouncing. So once I've got my VNC session open, what I'm going to do now is go to my APC power manager. Now, I made a video about that once before. So if you're not familiar with this cool little gadget, I will leave you a link where you can go watch that video. But what this is, is it's a smart outlet strip. I guess that's probably not the best word to use for it, but it is basically a multi-outlet PDU, which has these individual controls for each outlet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my CAT 2960. So go here, put that immediate on, click apply. All right, so now what that's doing is it's turning on that uh, switch. Now what I can do uh, is go to my putty and launch that and see what's going on so that's com three com three yeah so open up my putty that's going to take about a minute so let me pause here and then i'll come back and we'll and we'll resume all right we're back that took about three and a half minutes for that switch to boot up all the way so what i'm doing now is really just managing my cisco lab uh, well more in particular, my voice over IP lab. So what I have is four phones connected to the Cisco switch. And instead of just letting that stuff run all the time, um, you know, I turn the power off and on. But moreover, one of the things I have to do sometimes is bounce the instruments. So I might log in uh, and just basically do a shut, no shut on the um, on the port so i've got them set up you know port one two three and four and you know connected to telephone one two three and four and then that way i could just bounce them as needed because if you change the registration credentials on the phone you got to make the power you, you know force a power cycle on the phone so if i go config t and then i go uh, int giga gigabit um one slash zero slash one so that's my first phone and so then if i do a shut then it turns the power off to the phone, the phone goes off. And then let that sit for a second. You know, then you can see it redoing the, the uh, config. And then when it comes back, I can just do a no shut. And then it turns the power back on. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting. If you weren't familiar with using remote tools, it just maybe inspire you to, uh, to consider something like that. But please try to be green. So if you do have a lab somewhere else, Try not to let it run all the time. Just shut it off when you're not using it. Okay. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.